This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a Kryptonite Model KS82 Closed Shackle Padlock. Now this is a really impressive padlock on a number of different fronts. First, we have a nice beefy construction with its nickel-plated steel lock body. Then there's the high shackle guard and molybdenum alloy shackle. Second, it takes a full-size Schlage key and knob cylinder, which means it can be keyed alike with a wide array of locking systems. And finally, the pick resistance of this lock is impressive. It has a Schlage core with five standard pins, yet among the roughly 10 to 15 pickers that I've shared this with, not a single one has been able to open it. In fact, I've been unable to open it without applying monstrous amounts of torque to the core. Now, I have picked several other Schleg KS series locks before, and none of them approach this one as far as pick resistance goes, so I can only imagine that this is just one of those locks in which the stars align during manufacturing. In any case, let's pick this open, and then I'll take it apart to show you those shockingly tricky standard pins. This one works fine, no issues there, very smooth. Let's lock it back up. We have a Schlage SC keyway. I'm going to be using top of the keyway tension with a 50 thousandths thick pry bar and a standard hook in 25 thousandths. And again, I'm going to be using a lot of torque on this. Number one is binding. Got to click there. Number two, binding. Got to click there. 3 is binding, got to click out of 3, click out of 4, and number 5, binding tightly, click out of 5, and we got this open. Now that might have looked easy, but let me tell you, until I figured out that you needed such heavy tension to open this up, it had me baffled for a while. Okay, let's take this apart. To Take the core out, we need to remove a Phillips screw down the shackle hole. Now we need to get this driver off the back. Okay, now we should just need a key and the follower. We should be able to take this apart. Okay, looks like we have some nickel silver key pins. That's unusual for a Schlage product. And these are all standard pins as I expected. It looks like I got one of them in the wrong position. Okay, let's get those driver pins out now. Brass standard in number one, same in two, same in three, four, and five. And it looks like some of these driver pins are differing in lengths. So there was probably some attempt at evenly spaced pin stacks. That's a something I've never seen on a Schlage product before. Okay, let me give you a close up of all of this. As you can see, we have all standard pins, nickel silver on the bottom and brass on the top. Moving over to the core. Nothing unusual at all about this. Does look like it has some nice machining, probably pretty good tolerances. But other than that, this looks like a normal Schlage core, and I can't tell you why it was so hard to open. In any case, that's all I have for you today on this Kryptonite KS82 closed shackle padlock. If you do have any questions or comments about it, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.